Well, hello again. Welcome to Horror in Detail, Shadow People are a paranormal entity. They appear to be dark black clear shadowy figures. They have no facial features. They've been seen and witnessed around the world. To people of all different countries and cultures around the world. It has also been mentoned that when you see shadow people then you could experience time lapse, scenario where you could witness shadow people for a few seconds or a minute or so, but when you check the time hours would have passed. Paranormal slash supernatural experts claim that they are not ghosts slash demons, but they are a different supernatural entity. They are said to exist on our planet slash universe in different dimensions or realm. One of the most evil among the shadow people is the hat man. He appears to those who are about to face serious personal tragedy. In this video we will share four stories related to the shadow people. Subscribe. First story. This story was shared by the faith seer, so credits to him. One night about a year ago, close to 1.30 a.m. or so in the morning, I went upstairs to check on my child who was sick at the time, for I wanted to make sure the fever would not come back. When I went to his room, I can see dark figures that look like shadows moving from the corner of my eye then as I continue to see them, I finally decided to get near the window to take an even closer look. As I did that, I realized it was a group of about 20 to 25 dark shadows like ghost figures. I could not believe my eyes so with my hands I kept rubbing eyes to look again and again and make sure that what I was seeing was real. The gathering appeared to be like any normal gathering of normal living humans but the difference here was that these were all dark shadow like ghosts that carry themselves as normal human beings just having a casual gathering, talking, hanging out etc. Then at one point as I continue to open my eyes wide and still questioning, asking myself what is going on. What are they? And what are they doing? Suddenly as I was still standing almost frozen in shock right by the window as I was finishing my last though then one of them turns around and looks at me from the patio where they are all hanging out across from my house. When it looks at me it then realizes that I am able to see them then he suddenly turns around and appears as he right away is telling the others that I am by the window and I am able to see them. Then one by one they start turning towards the window I'm standing by and they look at me first a couple of them then a few more than everyone and they suddenly become confused and appeared irritated at the fact that I am able to see them and shortly after I could hear what sounded like a minor argument among them through mainly whispers all around, then as they are done with their brief conversation, they all jump up onto the roof of the house nearest to them and fly up into the dark sky disappearing rather quickly, first a couple, then a few more and so on until they all leave. This all took place widening a matter of a few minutes. To this day I am yet to make sense of that, and I still wonder from time to time what kind of shadow people, or ghosts they were and why so many and what were they doing. I have so many questions. It was definitely a very interesting experience for sure. Second Story this story was shared by Nellifier999, so credits to him. Today I am going to share my experience with the Hatman and the Shadow People. I had moved to another country and was sleeping on a friend's couch for a couple of weeks while I tried to find a job. Even though it was cool having my friend's company, it was quite stressful as I was running out of money and struggling to find work. I remember my friends got drunk pretty much every night. But for me, drinking every night when I was already quite stressed out about being in a new country trying to find work left me feeling depressed. So one night my friend decides to get some drugs, I won't say what type, but they were very strong. He gave me some and I got really high. The problem was that I knew I wouldn't be able to sleep for a while. I had already not been sleeping great because of being on an uncomfortable couch in a strange house. So anyway, the drugs eventually wore off. I knew I was in for the long haul with sleep. Hours passed, 24 hours with no sleep, I think I was at roughly 36 hours no sleep when it started. The first thing was, I went to the bathroom and walked back to the couch, it was late and night and most of the lights in the house were off. 
there was some sort of creature sitting on the couch where I had been sitting. The room wasn't extremely dark, just dimly lit, so I could see it fairly clearly, like it was completely real. I can't remember it that vividly, but it was looking right at me, the closest I can describe it as looking like Golem from Lord of the Rings, but it had glowing eyes. It has a smiling expression on its face, like an evil smile, like it knew something was about to go down. My heart jumped into my mouth and I took a few steps back and flicked on the light switch. It disappeared. Hallucinations, I thought. I must be very tired. But I still could not sleep, as much as I wanted to sleep. I couldn't. So I eventually just put it down to being tired and turned off the light again. Not too long after turning off the lights, that's when the shadow people came. They danced while holding hands in a circle, and told me that I should kill myself. One thing I remember about them is they had no faces at all, no features, and this made me come to the conclusion that dead people have no faces. And although I was scared, I was finding the experience quite interesting, so I didn't turn the light on. That is when the hatman appeared. The strange thing about these shadow creatures, is they always peered around corners at you, like they were spying on you. I also remember they told me they were people that had died near here, or at last some of them were people, I don't think the shadow people and hatmen were once humans, but I don't think they were demons either. I think they may have been on the darker side, but I felt like they were some sort of middle creatures that took people into purgatory, and seemed to surround people that are thinking of taking their own life, trying to encourage them to join them. Once you actually do it, who knows what happens next, but I don't think it's a good thing. Third story. This story was shared by Hobart Bateson, so credits to him. My memories from my childhood are odd. For instance I remember at night, my room being populated by shadow people. Simple outlines of human figures, roaming my bedroom. Never once did they show aggression, but I was scared nonetheless. I remember waking from a dream, only to be in a room full of these lanky figures traipsing about my room. As grass would walk if only it was able. I would immediately close my eyes, and feel my way to my parents' room. Night after night, these peaceful beings of darkness, just watched. Then again, if I needed to get to the bathroom, the minute my feet touched the floor they'd stop, and stare. Even without eyes, I could tell they were paying attention to every move I made. I would then of course, immediately close my eyes and run to the bathroom. Surprisingly, I never ran into any doors, or slammed into any corners. I shared a room with my big brother, who didn't see them. I remember waking up to my brother choking and gagging. I was on the top bunk, and he on the bottom. I called his name in concern, but he didn't answer. The choking and gagging continued. I immediately stuck my head out from the top bunk to take a look, and he was shaking, gagging, and choking. Then suddenly, he stopped, and laid still. It was then I noticed something standing next to his bed. A shadow, other shadow people stood at the far side of the room watching. I shook my brother, and yelled for him to get up. He wouldn't move, I started bawling. I shook him, and shook him, but he wouldn't wake up. I started to yell at the shadow, demanding he stop. That's when the lights turned on, my parents had woken up. My brother immediately woke up with a deep breath, as if he'd been trying to come up for air the entire time. I was a mess, my parents were confused, and my brother had no idea that anything had happened. Once again, my whining and crying was dismissed as a simple child's fantasy. From that point on my fear of the shadow people escalated, but part of me believed that the shadow standing next to my brother wasn't like the others. The last time I remember seeing them was just like any other night. However, that night I must have been moving a bit in my sleep. I remember waking up right when I started falling head first out of my bed, and too late to do anything about it. 
Fear shot through my body, where I slept was an easy six or seven feet off the ground. I didn't hit the ground though. One of them caught me, and placed me back in my bed. I never saw them again. Fourth story. This story was shared by Ninja underscore horse 123, so credits to him. Shadow people, Hatman. So my girlfriend has just informed me that ever since she was a toddler, she has had a shadow man that would appear to her. Growing up she had some pretty emotional things happen to her, and from what readings I have done, this could potentially be why. The interesting thing is, others around her have seen him too. He is a tall, maybe seven feet, black shadow with a hat and trench coat. She has seen him in public, at work, at home, and in the car. For the most part, when she sees this 3D shadow, he is leaning against a wall. But other times, he is seen walking. He doesn't seem to be harmful, she says that she does feel negative energy, and doesn't necessarily feel happy around him. She has had two exes that were violent around her. During times of fights this entity seemed to feed off of the emotions. Dishes and cups were found broken, cupboard doors are found open. The other strange thing about all of this, up until about two months ago, she would see him all over the house. Her grandparents gifted her a small doll that was blessed or cleansed by a Native American tribe. Ever since she was gifted this and she put it in her kitchen, the shadow man hasn't been seen except for in one room, which is the farthest room from doll. This is not something that only she has seen though, she has two friends that has seen him. And not just out of the corner of their eyes, full on, seeing this 3D shadow, who will stay where he is for a few minutes and then disappear right in front of them. I have yet to see him, but only time will tell. Thanks a lot for watching the video till the end, subscribe to our channel horror in detail. Drop your opinions slash suggestions in the comment section, and like the video as it helps with the YouTube algorithm.